Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. The market direction is still in an uptrend. This morning at 4 p.m., I'm sorry, 4 a.m., the pre-market futures were showing the Dow was going to be down 700 points. It opened up down 280 or so. But during the day, it slowly started climbing back up. A knee-jerk reaction to the news of the uh, uh, COVID virus might be going into different strains and shutting down Europe and maybe having to have new vaccines to take care of it over here in the U.S. But the vaccine manufacturers came out and said all they have to do is alter their current vaccines to take care of the different uh, strains. And as you can see, the Dow closed back up above the T-line. One simple statistical analysis uh, assumption, which is as long as the indexes continue to close above the T-line, the uptrend remains in progress. Same scenario here on the NASDAQ, open much lower, but as you can see, they were buying after the open, closing above the T-line, continuing this uptrend. So very simple analysis when it comes to candlestick uh, charts, but if you can analyze that the trend of the markets are still staying above the T-line, that means the bully sentiment is still uh, in progress. We've got a lot of patterns that are working very well. The wedge breakouts, as we saw in Blink, is continuing to make this one move higher. Same scenario over here on fuel cell, traded up a little bit again today on this wedge breakout. But the J-hook patterns are producing very good profits. As we can see in Myra, when it did a J-hook pattern, coming back up above the uh, T-line, it's continuing its uptrend this week. We recommended MGNI. Also a nice J-hook pattern with the additional benefit of being able to analyze the fact that when we had this doji sandwich confirming the J-hook pattern, and what do we expect from a doji sandwich? More upside, which is more confirmation that wave three, this being wave one, wave two, wave three upside potential is in progress. These type of stocks where we can see the signal like a best friend breakout is our, are producing good, strong price moves. Our recommendation last week on WWR was based upon that doji, good, strong price move. Morning star signal in the oversold area. Today, it opened lower and came back up. And right now it's trading up in this range. This is what sets up the analysis that the bulls are taking control. And not only bulls taking control, but we can see visually which stocks have the biggest upside potentials. If this came back up to test this level from this area, that's essentially a 50% price move. Simple logic tells us if we can see buy signals, we want to find the ones that have the biggest potential. If a stock has a buy signal and you can move up 7% over the next three weeks, eh, if it could move up 50% over the next three weeks, those are the stocks you want to start uh, establishing positions. So right now, the Dow has closed back up above the T-line after trading much lower. So the assumption is they don't want to sell this market off yet. And as long as they're not selling this market, the candlestick patterns are going to produce the biggest profits. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.